Hi, I'm Kevin. Time for a cookery slot. I've been saying for ages that I'm going to do these chickpea burgers, so I decided to do them. Um, get a bowl like this, take a, a can of uh, chickpeas and uh, strain them like in a colander or a sieve, whatever, and then rinse them off. And then when you've drained them, put them in your bowl. Uh, chop some onions and peppers finely, fry them in about a dessert spoon of oil and then when they're cold add them to your chickpeas and then the other things you want to add to your chickpeas is garlic you can use fresh or if you do chop it really finely or kind of puree it um, or you can put it in a processor and then or you can use powdered garlic entirely up to you I took a small handful of spinach and then I chopped it like that and I added that chop some coriander that's nice in it as well and add some lime juice. Lime juice is fab. I use about a whole lime for that. Some salt and pepper and then taste your mixture because you want to, although it's raw, it's not it's not got anything harmful in it. So just taste it, check for seasoning. Um, and you can add some chilli as well if you'd like. You can use fresh or dried and then just mix it up. So you kind of want to go like that to kind of crush your chickpeas. Then mix it up. And add two dessert spoons of flour and that will kind of bind it and once you've done that then form it into like pâtés you know like a burger and then fry them on each side for about four minutes um, I've just done that and that is my chickpea burger which is very delicious and I've served it with some cherry tomatoes some chopped spinach and some beetroot slaw which is also on my YouTube and very delicious so there you are. If you want to make chickpea burgers or use meat or whatever you like, then do that. Get cooking, subscribe, share, enjoy.